Mary Ludwig. Oh, great. Thank you. All right, everybody. Can you hear me? Well, hello and welcome. I'm here to briefly inform you about what we have done with plans for a learning commons this past semester and give you a little background on that. For the past few years, actually, the library staff has been promoting building the learning commons. Well, last December, Dr. Pat finally got together a committee and tasked us with dreaming big and coming up with a plan for the learning commons, which is essentially an expansion of a traditional library to include various services and really integrate different things across campus into the library setting and, and get out of that traditional setting. And with this task, we decided to just take a no-holds-barred approach and think of all the things that we would like in there and attempt to implement it. So with this, we came up with a mission. This was to provide an innovative learning hub that integrates technology, information, and expertise in a learning-centered environment focused on promoting collaboration, building community, and achieving academic success. Now, with this established, we looked at the services that LCCC already offers and thought about how we would fold those in, the reasoning for folding those in, and we looked at things that we do not currently have and thought, well, why not? If we're going to ask for something, might as well go for something big, right? So with that, we took surveys from both the faculty and the students to get their input and looked at how these services would also be integrated into our college strategic plan and make sure this all fit together. With that, we made various recommendations. For instance, we are supporting the creation of a 24-hour computer lab. This would meet all of our students' schedules. We also want its support within the computer lab because there is no reason a student should have to stop what they are doing and go to the help desk and leave and miss out on that time for studying. We also support the placement of the math lab in the Learning Commons and an expansion of it. Currently, we continue to expand hours in the math lab. We continue to have to add more and more computers. So we want to provide room for growth for this. We also support the creation of a few things we don't have, such as a multimedia production and presentation center, along with a print production center, so that both our students and faculty and community members can create professional things to present to people and such things. In addition, we support the language lab being placed within this. The language lab usage has doubled from the years 2011 to 2012, and with the numbers that we have from the spring, if they continue, it will continue to grow. And so we need a space that can accommodate that kind of usage. Also, we supported placing the Center for Teaching and Learning within the Learning Commons eventually. You know, that way, we as instructors can model the behavior we would like to see from our students and continue learning and in front of them and such things. And since we're going to ask for the placement there, we thought about what kind of things we would like to see within it. And this included a faculty learning lounge with workspaces for collaboration, meeting rooms, auditoriums so that we could bring in guest speakers and have them present and have faculty present on various subjects as well. We also want this to include adjunct spaces so that they can have a comfortable area to meet with students and it will accommodate all members of the people who are working with students on a daily basis. Obviously, the Ludden Library will play a major part in this. Now, the Ludden Library foot traffic has doubled since 2008, and you have only to walk by during midterms or finals to see how a little more room would probably be a good idea for that library as it 
continues to expand and, and meet our student needs. We also support placing the Student Success Center and Exam Lab in the Learning Commons. And this will really allow them, hopefully with more space, to accommodate more students. You know, as it is currently, there's only so many people you can fit in those little rooms. So we thought, let's put them in a bigger one. The Writing Center is currently in the library, which we believe that it would fit perfectly in the Learning Commons. I'm sure Kristen would like me to announce that if you would like to volunteer for the Writing Center now, <laughs> please do so. You know, spend that time one-on-one -on -one with our students to improve student success. Finally, we're going to ask for things. We want a cafe. We want to, one to improve our patron experience and hopefully increase collaboration, have those casual collisions that Google talks about and allow us to share ideas and then implement them. In addition, we worked with Tammy Kinney to find out what ADA equipment we need in the Learning Commons to make this accessible to everybody and have everyone feel welcome within it. And so, with that, we really support bringing all of these services together in order to centralize them for our students so they can be walking to the Student Success Center and suddenly realize, oh, there's a writing center. There are other places for us to get the help that we need on campus. So, if you would like to know more about this proposal, please look over the executive summary that's on the tables. If you have any questions, please get in contact with any of the committee members that are listed on that. Another thing, I would like to thank the people who came to the focus groups yesterday. They had some excellent ideas, so Joe can expect to get an addendum to the proposal that we already placed out there with some of the other ideas that we had not thought of before, but they did. So with that, thank you very much. And Jerry, I believe you're next. Let's give Mary Ludwig an extra round of applause for starting us off this morning. Thank you so much. And what a great plan she's put together for us. All right, I would like to invite Jolene Klump and Jerry Griego to please come forward and talk about a very exciting plan they have for opening up the new food pantry. I'm Jolene, and this is Jerry, and that's Melissa, and we are here today to unveil the first ever student food pantry at LCCC, and I'm really excited about this project. Um, the human services students began working on this project in 2011 when they heard from public TV that this was an ever-growing pro problem across the nation. And as a result, they decided we need to see what's happening at LCCC's campus. What they found when they conducted a student survey is that there are a number of students who are food insecure or hungry on our campus. And so from there, I went to the president and said, you got money and I want it. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, go to Judy Hay. <laughs> And Judy Hay had some experience with it, and so she agreed to meet. And from there, Jerry heard about it and said, I want to get on board, which was great because she provided, provided a space for us to start the food pantry. Now the multimedia students are going to be doing 
the logo, and all the marketing materials for us. And it's just been a truly collaborative effort. And I, like I like to say, it takes village. I come from human services, and we always work on a shoestring budget. So we know it takes a village. And you cannot believe the support we've received from students, faculty, staff, people in the community. It's been incredible. So I, what we did today is we want to unveil it, but we have a questionnaire on your table with bookmarks. We want you to fill out the questionnaire. And if you do and hand it in at the door, I think it's going to be at the door, if whoever gets the most right answers, you have a chance to win a free meal or a free coffee, compliments of Sodexo. Okay, now we need Melissa. I was supposed to do that after, wasn't I? Okay. We're back now with more from our year-long focus on poverty and efforts supported by the Ford Foundation. Tonight, American colleges confronting the reality of hunger right on their own campuses. Here's NBC's Diana Alviar. It looks like just another room on the third floor of Portland State University's Student Union. But for senior Brandon Keene, it is a lifeline. It's nice to be able to eat more than once a day, and this place allows us to do that. Each week, at least 200 students slip into this room, the school's food pantry, to select as many as five items of donated food. Hello. Today, Leif Zook, a senior Gulf War veteran and financial aid student, picks a couple of cans of soup, some rice, and tuna. What difference has having a pantry like this made for you? Oh, tremendous. <laughs> Don't go to bed going, all right, how am I going to make what little I have left stretch for the next two weeks? The average cost of tuition at state colleges rose last year by more than 8%. The volunteers who run this pantry know there are more students who can use this help. I don't want people to feel the way that I did. Volunteer Amber Kalsall has been in their shoes. That's one of the reasons why we have chosen not to ID anybody who needs to use the pantry because we think it's hard enough for them to decide to come in and ask for help. And what's happening here in Portland is taking root on college campuses all across the country. There are now more than 50 university food pantries dedicated to keeping students from having to make some agonizing choices. I got to a point where I wasn't getting enough hours at work to afford food or anything like that, so I finally decided to come to the food pantry for assistance. At the University of Arkansas, Ashley Horton is earning her degree in child development. I didn't want anybody to see me coming down, but once I got in, I just filled out all the paperwork and felt good once I finally realized I had some food to go home with. These food pantries fill a gap in the American safety net. While many of the students here might qualify for food stamps, to get them, a student must either work 20 hours a week or hold a work-study position on campus, of which few are available. And there's another problem. The campus food pantries depend on donations. And sometimes, like the day we were at Portland State, the cupboard was almost bare. We constantly run out of food, and it's disheartening to me as a person that runs it to have students come in here and go, gosh, it's so empty. <laughs> Perhaps tomorrow there will be more food in the pantry. Tonight, Leif Zook knows he has at least one meal he can count on. Diana Alviar, NBC News, Portland, Oregon. So the thing that we have found out is that our campus is no different than other campuses across the nation. We have hungry students right here at LCCC. The as in response to that, what we have done is start a food pantry. It's located in B108, which is in the bottom floor of the business building. We took over some space that had been used as office space before, and we used part of the service learning budget to buy shelves. We have gotten a grant, a Golden Apple grant from the foundation to buy a freezer, and we've had students do um, food drives in the spring and again in the summer. So right now, our shelves are stocked. But all of us know, being in the education field, that students are coming back to school, they're finishing to pay their tuition, and then they go to the bookstore, and then they have no money. In fact, many times they don't even have the money <laughs> to buy the books. 
So we're, we need to be ready and open for business as the semester begins. We have our stocks fairly well, our shelves fairly well stocked right now, but we need a plan in place that will keep them full. So I, I want to share with you just a moment about the generosity that we've already seen. One day I went to lunch and came back and I had bags of groceries sitting by my door to my office with this little note that says, food for Jerry's kids, and a smiley <laughs> face. <laughs> I kept the note because it spoke to my heart, um, because I do kind of nurture my students as kids, and also um, because it showed me that the person who, uh, who left this, and I don't know who left this, the person who left it was generous, didn't want to be noticed, they just wanted to share what they had with other people. I've gotten emails, how can I help, how can I help? So we have an idea for how all of you can help. And what, we're, what we've decided to do is divide you into buildings, not divisions, but buildings. And as I stood up here, I like, oh my gosh, this is like a sea of people. Because I want you up and moving, okay? When it comes to 11.45, I think is when we break for lunch, you're going to be glad you had this extra opportunity to move, I think. So I'm going to call out the name of a building and a representative to come up and get noisemakers. <laughs> okay, so there's, there's about six or seven noisemakers in each bag. Each building gets a bag, and so... Um, there's not enough, obviously, for everyone, but give it to the loudest people in your area, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so, because what we're going to do is we're going to have a sign that has different food items, and you're going to bid on those food items, and that's what your building is going to be responsible for bringing to the food pantry all this academic year, all right? Now, don't think you can just be quiet and get out of it. There is one food item for each building, okay? And as you win an item, you're out of the game. So last team standing gets whatever's on the last card, all right? Any questions? All right. Um, we took a little bit of literary license here. The first team is not a building, but I... W <laughs> so after that, it goes by building. So... <laughs> So the first team is going to be the foundation and the board of trustees. All right, we're combining you as a team. So, Tucker, can you catch? <laughs> I can't throw very well, but. <laughs> okay, so we want you to gather as a team. Oh, here we are. Here we are. Woo! No, Joe is administration. <laughs> Okay, so, so Foundation and Board of Trustees, that's their sign. I'll get the sign. Thank you. So we need you to gather together somewhere. All right, the next building is administration. So do you want to take Joe? Joe's the cheerleader for administration. <laughs> next is the ag building. Brian, you're going to be cheerleader for administration, for ag. Next is the business building. Perry's going to be the cheerleader. You have Brian? Oh, go ahead. Here, you need a sign too. There's Ag. Did it stick to Perry's, maybe? I don't know. Okay, let's keep, let's keep going so we don't... Okay, next is ARP. Aaron, would you come up and get a sign and the noisemakers? Otto. We have Rob Lufaso. There he is. Next is Career and Technical Building, Kelly Wilmarth. Well, 
There she is. <laughs> Next is the Center for Conferences and Institutes, Melissa. Next is the College Communi Community College Center with Rachel. The Education and Enrichment Center with Kevin. Right there. There's Kevin. Fine Arts, Karen Reynolds. Sorry. Here's Karen. Health Science, Christine. There you go. Ludden Library, Maggie. The Modular, Rashi. <laughs> Here's Rashi. Yeah. Physical, <laughs> physical education, Cynthia. Kathy Curtis. Where did Kevin go? Oh, that, never mind. Residence halls, Jason. <laughs> Kathy Curtis, we haven't spotted you yet. There she is, I see her, right there. Okay, residence hall is Jason. I know. Science Center, Tammy. Student Services, Judy Hay. Over where? Oh. <laughs> There's Judy. Training Center, Mary Allen. Albany County, Janine. Thank you. And you need a sign? Albany County, we need Janine. Awesome, that works. And you know what? We had one, you saw it. I don't know. Do we have a ask if somebody has a Okay. Um we need someone still from residence hall. And we're missing the sign for the ag building. Does anybody have it stuck to theirs? Ah, there's Ag right over there in the corner. I see it. Yep. So, Brian, we found your sign. <laughs> Anybody from residence hall? on 
the judges because I thought it was only right that the new people on campus and leadership should know how loud we can be when we want to be noticed. <laughs> this is a conflict of interest. <laughs> Why? Because I'm going to be biased today. <laughs> Okay, so what we're going to do now is hold up a food item, and whichever team is first and loud gets that food item. Okay? Ready? Are first. You ready? Yeah. Are you ready? <laughs> Here we go. Peanut butter! <laughs> close to call and they have to do it again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we have 21 things. Oh it was too close, too close, and you have to do it again. Oh now. my gosh. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. for breaking the rules, but I guess that, that won't work. So I'm going to cut the School of Business and Technology a deal if, if, if we can see Perry doing a car wheel.
Wow. No, 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 no. She was willing to do it. I don't want you to get hurt, so you win. Very good. <laughs> you can't do that at 60. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> What's your next item? Yeah. Okay, now you guys need to hand off your noisemakers. I got a cow girl who's the high boy here. What's the next one? You guys tricked me. You said 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Toothpaste and toothbrushes. Toothpaste and toothbrushes. If you give it to the science. <laughs> yeah, science. Yeah, science. Okay, Science Center gets toothpaste and toothbrushes. What's wrong with Rachel? All right, dental hygiene folks, this should not be coming out of the, the school's budget. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So here's the deal. Uh -huh. We're going to win this deal. Ag is. We're going to donate half a hog to the deal. Except here's the deal. We don't have, well, when we get freezer space. Okay. We so which? Hog. We're going to donate half a hog. Next? Sweet. Sweet. So you can announce that. I don't know. Okay. okay. Um, we have an announcement like from the Ag and the Arena. Instead of them shouting, since there's only a few of them, they are donating half a hog to the cause. So, yay! <laughs> so. Wow, I don't, I don't know if your car wheeler is going to top that one. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Now you're going to have to buy a freezer. Yeah, we have to buy the freezer faster now. <laughs> so. Excellent. Thank you so much. Okay, laundry detergent. Well, I guess I guess no one is claiming the laundry detergent, so you guys won. <laughs> oh. Okay, our got laundry detergent. Thank you. The next item. Soup and saltine crackers. <laughs> I think we have a winner now. I think we have a winner. Well, I, I w <laughs> well, we have another winner. Go ahead. <laughs> Archie. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. What's next? Give up your, you yeah, give up your noisemakers. Okay, cereal. She took your thunder. She stole your thunder. Very nice. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, next item. <laughs> Snack crackers. Wow. Snack crackers. Well, given, given the lack of interest on the crackers, Joe told me 
given the lack of interest in the cra on the crackers, Joe told me that he's gonna do a handstand. Was you? <laughs> oh, oh, I, I misunderstood. <laughs> All right, let's see the handstand. I think the modular wants snack crackers. <laughs> oh, oh. 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 oh my gosh! Oh. <laughs> 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 they won. Hands down. All right, canned fruits and vegetables. Well, it's only fair we go with Albany. Nicely done. Well, they have to coordinate at least. Yay, thank you. Next one, diapers! diapers. No. Oh. <laughs> They're clean! <laughs> How about we have the admin building do the, I the diapers? <laughs> cheer for that, if you cheer loud, they will take them. <laughs> no. <laughs> we are doing this because we are used to cleaning up everybody's mess. I just want you to know that. <laughs> Especially the Vice President of Academic Affairs. <laughs> well played. <laughs> okay, trail mix. Are you singing? <laughs> there you go, some trail mix. School supplies. Who wants to do school supplies? supplies. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what's next? Shaving supplies! Yeah. <laughs> Who got it? Training center, I think. What? Training center? Training center. All right. <laughs> It's non-alcoholic drinks. <laughs> Stolen. They lost the drinks. Pre-made meals and microwavable meals. library would like jelly <laughs> quietly the library wants jelly <laughs> <laughs> who got microwavable meals auto yay what is it tuna Looks good! 
Got a wheel. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, oh, this is one of the most important. Oh, okay. One of the most critical items we have a need for is toilet paper. That's oh, perfect. Your turn what, right. Mine? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, the next item, shampoo and soap. Who's left? <laughs> <laughs> Give it to them. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we have two. Community college. <laughs> okay, granola bars. You want chews? Are there any teams that don't have anything? Oh. <laughs> we did. We have so many already. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, so look at the harp. Laundry and soap. Shampoo, soap, soap detergent. Yeah. So we are going to clean up. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Career and technical, you're going to love it. <laughs> <laughs> questionnaires, leave them at the table at the door, and we'll pass out the prizes after we find out who's the winner. Thanks. It takes a village. Thank you. Sorry it took so long. Uh, but it was fun. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. That was absolutely awesome. Thank you so much. And while we're in the spirit of giving, my name's Rachel Martinez, and I'm doing the Operation Back to School with the city in conjunction with Ellen Price. I know so many of you brought in your school supplies because our box is absolutely overflowing. But if you <laughs> forgot to bring in your supplies, Ellen and I will be collecting them throughout the week, and then we'll put your name into a drawing. We also have um, drawings for coffees, free meals. We have a sweatshirt. We have a central card and something else, I can't remember. But please bring in school supplies. You can find a list on the email that I sent out. It's basic school supplies for K through 12 and also college students. So anything you bring in, we'll put it in the box, we'll get it over to the needs um, incorporated organization and we'll put you in the name for a drawing. So thank you so much. All right, could we have another big round of applause for our food pantry? What a great job, ladies. All right, Dr. Schaefer would like to have about a five to seven minute break for everyone while he loads up his presentation. So please take a quick restroom break and come right back. And then we're going to do introductions. And then we're going to do introductions of new employees. So please come right back. <laughs> 